Now, to celebrate the release of brand new original series Sexy Beast on Paramount Plus, we bring you our top five artist footballers of the 90s. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Yes, the team have come up with 10 hard footballers from the 90s. Benty, you and I are picking Drive's top five. Well, you've you've picked your top five artists, right? Yeah. So we got a list of, I don't know, 10 in front of me, mm. right? I've gone for more. My Number ones are, five. We're not yet, Ryan. We haven't, we're not ready yeah. with the... Um, what were you going to say? Some of mine are almost like... Number ones five. That, no, Ryan, not yet. I'll tell you when we're going to go to that. Here, go on. That I've come in contact with or, do you know what I mean, of that era. Number okay. two. No, wait. Right, start of the... Start at the top, right? Are you ready, Benny? Uh, I am indeed. Right, let's go, Ryan. Number five. Number five, Kevin Muscat. Okay. This guy, I promise you, is awful. What do you mean awful? Some of the tackles. Oh, right. All, all you've got to do is Google him. Because uh, Hardman, I mean, yeah, there's one on the list. You you probably guess who that is. Who it, It's on and off the pitch. But this one here, on the pitch. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you'll see when I get to number one, right, you'll okay. understand it. But yeah, Kevin, Kevin Muscat as a player was awful. I think he got banned... In Australia, for for potentially ending someone's career, some of the challenges were disgusting. Right, I mean, absolutely disgusting. What, you, what do you play against him? Oh, yeah, he was at Millwall. There you go. Oh my word! Yeah, at the time. So, and that's the the manager where George Brady said, "If he's anywhere near you, right? Oh, that's the one. If he's anywhere near you, let him take the were ball." You, when you were on the field with him, were you scared? No, I weren't scared, but there's certain scenarios. Go, do you know what? No, and I, I remember there's one particular time where the ball was going out for a throw, and I was running, and I slid to try and keep it, and I missed it, and as I slid. To keep it in, just as I turned my body, he went whisking past me. And I remember Marcus Bent running over again. Oh, I know what you tried to do there, Muscat. Tried to absolutely finish me off, yeah. Did he? Yeah. By doing what? Like, because obviously he's assuming my body's going to be in a certain position, so he's two footed through my legs. Oh, my God. But I did turn that way, and he just went sliding past me. Nasty. Nasty. Okay. Number five, that is number four. Number four. Roy King. Okay, yeah. You've got to be in there, and he just yeah. l- lunatic, angry. Um, Again, some of the tackles, the arguments, his his whole demeanour on the pitch. Obviously, there's rumours about him being quite tough off the pitch. I wouldn't know anything about that. But I remember Kevin Horlock actually telling me a story about Keane. Oh, this would be good. In Manchester. Mm -hmm. He reckons he saw him at a fish and chip shop. Now, I don't know how true this is, right? And he was just eating fish and chips with Hood up. And someone like went up to him and like pushed him or did something. And there was two of them. And apparently, Rory Keane just finished them both off the picked up his chips and walked off and no, picked well, I mean, we don't know if that's true or not, but that wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just telling you a story that I heard. No. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I heard. Do you have like. battered sausage, you fella? I don't know if you have battered sausage, but oh, he, okay. he, he, just, like, he had fish and chips and his hood was up. Yeah. Kevin Horlock said. Like the, the film, uh, the scene in The Gentleman. Is it The Gentleman? No. What's the one with Colin Farrell where he's got the, the Lonsdale tracksuit on? What film's that? The Gentleman. He's The Gentleman. Yeah. Okay, like that scene. Yeah. But Keen at four, yeah. You Number ever, three. I haven't finished it, Ryan. You ever have a horror challenge with Keno? No. He was, my, he was my coach at Villa, wasn't he? Yeah. I course, got him really yeah. well with him. Did you? Yeah. Did he I take re- part in training? Yeah, some of the passing drills, like, oh my goodness, he could he could punch it in. And when I say punch it, it's like giving it a good side foot, like, boom. Yeah. You know when it comes off the foot, you hear the, boom. yeah. Yeah, he's like that. And Top then player. he used to, when, before we came out, he'd warm up with like some of the staff and they'd just be pinging balls about and he'd just be, honestly, just half volleys. Okay. Mm. Uh, Keno, number four. Let's move on, shall we, Ryan? Number three. Andy Todd. Toddy. Oh <laughs> my goodness. This guy was so right. I mean, there's obviously the stories in there about Phil Brown. Right. We beat him up. Dean Kiley. Right. But was he the manager at Phil Brown? I think, he was, t- I think he was the assistant when he did it. Right. Right. But he honestly, some like people used to tell me stories about him before I got to Charlton. Mm-hmm. And even playing against him, which is what shocked me, like knowing he was in town and his face, his demeanor, I, I was like, and he's a centre half. So I'm thinking, do you know what? I'm not sure about this fella. Really? But then I remember he tackled me and I got up and he went, oh, well played fella. Well, some of that. And I thought, oh, what a nice guy. Yeah, he was at Blackburn as well, but hard as anything. Anyone who played with him would always tell me he was hard as anything. And the picture I showed you was in what? Was that him? him? Stan Collymore, yeah. Okay, he looks On like a lunatic. Yeah. Okay. Good list so far, Benny. Number two, next. Number two. Told you, didn't I? Razor Ruddock. All right, that's yeah, interesting. Razor, yeah, yeah. He's number two, second hardest player. Yeah, it's got to be in. He's lunatic again, hard. And again, I didn't play with Razor. Was well, he hard, Ruddock? I didn't play against him or with right. him. But people that played with him always used to tell me story. Yeah, like Glenn Johnson used to tell me watching him. There was a time that Liverpool had Razor, Ruddock, and Julian Dix as a centre half. Imagine that. What, what, are you or supposed to do that? what are you supposed to do with that? Yeah. How are you supposed to get any change out I of that? I don't know. He was a tough, tough fellow, Razor, yeah. right? 
supposed to be. I mean, as we was. Why you supposed to be? Why are you picked him if he's supposed to be? Because remember, I didn't play with him. But going off stories and watching the footage on mm. YouTube. Now there's a. Cu- I've got a list in front of me of of players that you mm. haven't picked yet. Mm. There's a couple you haven't picked, and I'm surprised. Yeah. I mean, you've only got one place left, right? Yeah. Let's find out who is, and then I'll, I'll moan. Number two. Number one. No. no number. Okay. Number one. Duncan Ferguson. Okay. Big dunk. Yeah. Number one. Easily. The guy. I mean, the guy. We, there's always a story about people breaking into his house and. <laughs> Look in the door. And so, the police are like, well, we, y- yeah, no, y- no rush. Yeah, exactly. That there. Imagine breaking into Duncan Ferguson's house. <sighs> it's one of those where you go, do you know what? I don't need this. <laughs> no. Whatever, whatever way I got in. You I'm know caught. what? Serves you right. Yeah. Honestly. Imagine so, that. Yeah, so no, yeah, Duncan. No rush. Big dunk. He tied into chairs, didn't he? Was, so, that's not my point. So, I, obviously, we will never know the, the official story, yeah. but Duncan Ferguson's number one. For He's sure. hard as nails. Hard as any. Hard as You've anything. not put Stuart Pearce in there. That surprises me. No. Why is that? Um, I don't know. Really. I just, he was hard as nails, Stuart Pearce. Yeah, okay, potentially probably was, but again. You don't think so? You think he was a pussycat, do you? No, I do not. Why did you say that? No, I just didn't. You're not putting, I mean, you're not putting Vinnie Jones, a lot of people would have thought Vinnie Jones maybe goes in there. Yeah, no, I think Condy told me, though, that he was like a gentle pussy giant. Pussycat, yeah. David Batty? No, hard, though. Yeah, hard. Paul Lintz? Yeah, hard as well. You're not putting your fella, um, Patrick Vieira. Vieira? Nah, mate, baller. Didn't want to put him in because he's no? too, too good of a ball player. Okay. Bernard, go on, man. go be a five to one again. Uh, five. five, Kevin Muscat. Four, um, Roy Keane. Mm-hmm. Three, Andy Todd. Two, Razor Ruddock. But the one, hardest player? Duncan Ferguson. That big dunk. Yeah. Okay, good yeah. work. Talk Sport Drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from four. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.